So this video is going to be all about side chains and how to route them properly and um, using them for compression and for gating. So here's what I've done so far. I'm going to show you what I'm, we're, going to, we're going to be working towards and then I'm going to take off the effects and then show you how to do it. Alright, so this one here, you can see there's constant sound, but you're not hearing it the whole time. Here's what the constant sound sounds like. So, I have a, a gate that's opening when, the, uh, when this part is playing, the snare and the hi-hat are playing, so it sounds more like this. So, how do we set that up? Let's get rid of all of our effects. Let's get rid of all of our sins. Okay. So, uh, what we've got here is we have the kick drum, we have a bass, a bass guitar line, and this is a synth. That's not how you spell synth, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is drag and drop ascend from our kick drum to our bass. That's the first step. So just click on the I/O and just drag it anywhere onto here, onto the bass track. Uh, panel here and you just let go and now there's a send. Um, I'm using the Apollo theme so it'll be a little bit of different coloring but it's all it, something will happen to the button with an image so you know you did it. So what we've got is control to track two or sorry controls for track one kick send to track three bass and now what we want to do is we want to tell this we want the audio from 1 and 2 to send to the audio of 3 and 4. So we just go down to this menu here, find 3 and 4. We're going to choose 3, um, whatever you want to do. But I just choose 3 and 4. And now we close this. So now automatically, this is still only a stereo channel because it's only, it's only outputting stereo. Uh, and importing stereo, but this here, now the bass track, if we go to I.O., you'll see this is automatically changed to four channels. So, because it's receiving on three and four. So now we need to add recomp to this channel. So click on the effects button, recomp, which is in the caucus section, uh, which is the Reaper built-in plugins. So recomp, OK. And now we um, need to go to detector input on this and change this to auxiliary input left and right. So now if we play this, um, we shouldn't hear any bass because it's not being triggered. I'm sorry, that's not true. That's if you have a gate. Um, there's going to be no effect until I start putting compression down. So I'll do it to an extreme just to show you that it's working. Gotta put the uh, the ratio up here so it actually does something. So pull this down. Let's see this meter is only going up with a kick drum. So you don't obviously don't want it that much but that to your liking. So that's how you would do a sidechain comp and on the same channel I'll um, go ahead and add regate to show you how to do that. Regate, receive, auxiliary, input. Now this, if I put this up here you won't hear any bass at all. 
because I need to allow it to open the gate. You can change it so it holds the note a little bit longer. You may not want that on the bass guitar, but we do want that in the synthesizer. So let's close this out and let's, let's do our send from this channel up here down to the synthesizer. Change this to 3 and 4. Close that out. Let's open up the effects on here and add Regate. Change this. Change this to Auxiliary Input. Um, and now let's see. Calibrate this. Yeah, this hold would be quite a bit longer. So um, I always make a joke to um, some clients of mine that don't know how to play bass guitar. Um, and with that, <laughs> with that regate thing, I tell them, just play whole notes. And uh, as long as your drums are good, I can make a groove to it, which is exactly what I just did with the synthesizer. Obviously, that's a joke. You don't want to insult your clients, but <clears throat> you could actually do that. <laughs> so anyway... That's it for now. Um, Johnny from Red Seek Records. Thanks for watching tutorials for Reaper.com.